Hey guys, it's Bree. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cup Lee Menstrual Cup. Now I've had this cup for a little while actually. Um, I got it in the large size just because I wasn't aware there was actually a smaller size being sold at the time. But there is a large and a small size now and if I had known they had a smaller size I would have got the smaller size. But this is the large and surprisingly even though I have a low cervix I can use it. So the first thing is I have the clear, well clear, it's basically the, the non-coloured one. Uh, it's not really see-through, it's kind of opaque. And it's a really, really soft menstrual cup. I only use this menstrual cup overnight when my muscles are relaxed just because my muscles would crunch it like that and it would leak if I wore it in the day. Um, also, it's got quite a high capacity. As I said, it's the larger version, so I, it's good for an overnight cup as it will hold more than my other conventional menstrual cups. Uh, this one has some pretty good grip rings. They're quite, uh, what's the word, low on the cup. They don't come up very high, but they are pretty good pretty pronounced. As I said, it's really soft, so it's kind of hard to get the sound to play, but it, they do have them on it. Very subtle rim. I need to put my hand up for this one. Very subtle rim. They have four suction release holes. And I've cut the stem completely off. It wasn't a very long stem, but it did have some grips on there as well, I'm pretty sure. I got it as a de-stash cup, as I said before, um, and I sterilised it, obviously, for using it. You can sterilise multiple cups. And that's how I tested it. I haven't had any leaks overnight, as I said, but uh, it is a really soft cup and I have some pretty strong muscles down there because I was a dancer and I did a lot of pelvic floor work, obviously. As far as customer service for this company goes, there's not much good that I can say because when I contacted the cup lead company, I asked them, like I ask every other cup company, you know, when I contact them saying, hey, I run a channel, here it is, uh, wonder if you consider sending them to me. And some companies do say no, they say, sorry, we can't at this time for various reasons and stuff, but they're polite. Cupley came back to me and I quote said to me, I'm sorry we don't do this at this time, ha ha, lame, go somewhere else. I'm beginning to wonder if perhaps their nine year old got hold of the emails and decided to reply to me because that is just immature and very bad customer service quite frankly. I have no idea what would happen if you had an, an issue with this cup, whether they would even listen to you or something. But um, yeah, so that's my experience so far with the actual Cupley company themselves and that's why I got a de-stashed version because there's no way I'm paying the full amount for it for that cup, but I was curious to see what it was like and how it was soft and stuff, obviously, because I do do reviews and here's a review of this cup. But silicone itself feels okay, it's not the nicest, not the first I felt, uh, it's pretty good silicone. I I um, boiled this cup so it's got kind of that, uh, what's the word, residue on the outside that it sometimes gets, the silicone cups get when you boil them. I do have issues getting this cup to pop open just because it is so soft. Uh, but I can because I'm quite good at it now. I usually pull it up, put it back, and I put it in with the 7 fold that I always use. The other thing I've heard about the Cup Lee Menstrual Cup that I personally can't comment on because I haven't done this um, is this cup is also referred to as the Sex Cup. Now, like I said, I haven't actually had sex because I'm a virgin and I haven't got a boyfriend or anything. Uh, but this cup is often referred to as a sex cup because it is really soft and it's apparently really easy for your partner to slide up inside you next to this cup. And that's how it works. A lot of people ask questions about can you use a menstrual cup to have sex with? Obviously they know about the soft um, cup can be used for the for sex, you know, that's what because it works a bit like a diaphragm. But uh, most menstrual cup companies and most menstrual cup people will say no. However, I would have said that until several months ago when people started flooding me with these uh, messages saying no, actually you can and obviously explaining it to me because I have no idea how you do it. But basically, from what I've been told, the way this works is that you insert your menstrual cup just before you know you can have sex, like you would with a diaphragm sling. But you're going to have to use a condom as well because this won't work as um, contraception. It will probably work to aid you getting pregnant actually because it holds the sperm up where you need it to be. So you're probably more likely to get pregnant if you leave this in and don't use a condom. So basically, you insert your menstrual cup like you would normally do, and then the idea is that if, you, if it's pretty empty before you put it in, you can get your partner to very slowly insert next to it, and then he can move up and down. Because this cup is so soft, and it has barely any ridges on it, it doesn't irritate him at all. Some people say they've had leak issues, but others say that, you know, if you have a slightly stronger menstrual cup, this one seems to work okay, even though it's quite soft. It actually will stay open, you don't have to fiddle around or anything, but it can help keep um, period sex a little bit cleaner, so... I guess if that's something you're interested in, you could perhaps try this cup. As I said, I can't personally tell you if that works or not. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it for the cup, the menstrual cup. I don't think there's really anything else I can say about it. It's a really, really soft cup. It's not too expensive. It comes in a whole range of colours. I uh, can't recommend the company themselves, but uh, yeah. 
It does come with a pouch, but I bought it de stashed so it didn't have its pouch. I just keep it in this little extra pouch that the Juju Cup sent me. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.